most, if not all, of the uncomfortable feelings we experience have a certain level of fear underneath. But fear comes in different flavors, and sometimes using different words to describe what we're feeling helps us clear it more effectively. And one of the flavors of fear that some of us experience is dread. So maybe that's a sense of dread about some upcoming event, and maybe it's just a foreboding sense of dread that we are not sure what it's about. We just feel it. And if you're experiencing any of that, let's see what we can do about clearing that. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I feel this dread, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I feel this dread, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I feel this dread, this sense of foreboding, this fear, even though I feel this dread, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe anyone else involved in this because I choose to be that free from it. The sense of dread, all this dread, all this fear that I'm feeling, this sense of foreboding, this uncomfortable heaviness, really slows me down, robs me of happiness, makes it hard to think clearly, makes it hard to focus on what I really want. All this sense that I'm in trouble or that trouble is heading my way and I'm not gonna be able to handle it. Maybe I know what I'm dreading. And it's this feeling that I won't be able to handle it. And even if I can handle it, I'm really not gonna enjoy it. There may be certain things that I dread that I absolutely know that I'll survive, but I really don't wanna to have to go through it. But if it's something that I do have to go through for whatever sense of obligation, Isn't it enough to suffer, th to suffer through it then? And here I am suffering through it already. So I love and appreciate that part of me that believes it helps me to feel this dread. But all I'm doing is doubling the unpleasantness. And I can't feel enough dread now to enjoy what happens later. If it's some event that I'm dreading, I won't enjoy it later. telling people, oh yeah, I got the dread out of the way in the past. Whatever I think I'm doing as a way of protecting myself,
It's just making me uncomfortable. Maybe I'm trying to feel so much dread. that I make different choices and spare myself whatever I'm dreading. And how often does that really work? Some of the time I just end up doing it anyway. and the dread didn't prevent anything. And if I do change my plans, if I can change my plans, do I really need dread involved? Maybe part of me says, I'm not allowed to take care of myself until I'm really uncomfortable. And I choose to change that rule. Giving myself the freedom to make better choices. <clears throat> and when I can't change things, choose to have more faith in myself. I have ways of making the best of things. And I'm clearing what stops me from doing that. I choose to even find ways to make a game of it. I could even go from dreading things to being kind of excited about them. It's like some kind of puzzle. How could I make the best of this? And I have the ability to do that. I can make things better. I'm letting go of the past ideas that said I just had to suffer. Clearing the need to suffer. And I'm clearing this dread. So I allow myself permission to feel much better. In body, mind and spirit. Take a deep breath. And whatever it is that's coming up, you've got this. And the universe has your back. And if there's more tapping you want to do, I'm here for you. Thanks.